Hi everyone, welcome back to the another video of Genus Academy. So guys, have you ever think about the brushes in your teeth? These are nothing but the dental wires. These having really amazing properties, such as when you insert these brushes in your teeth, you will feel slight compression. Okay, so when you try to eat something, the role of your teeth is to uh, break down those food particles it means your your teeth applies some sort of the force some sort of the pressure on the food particles in order to break them and the main function of these brushes is to is to like uh, maintain the gaps between your teeth so over here when you try to eat something the pressure exerted by your teeth on the food particles exerts a force on the brushes as well Okay, so these braces undergoes under slight deformation. It will elongate. It is having the property of the ductility as well as it is having the higher strength and super elasticity. So when these braces undergoes deformation, that is nothing but the elongation. After the removal of the force, it regains its original shape. So that is nothing but the property of the elasticity. It regains the original shape just because of that that particular memory alloy which is used in the manufacturing of this braces this memory alloy is trained to regain its original shape at body temperature so guys over here this particular braces this particular dental wire is made up of the shape memory alloy so this is our today's topic we are going to talk on the shape memory alloys or like how does this shape memory alloys behaves what is the composition pattern and uh, like what is the internal microstructure we are going to cover each and every also we will learn about the some of the applications of the smas like from the dental wires up to the nasa's equipments like mars rover mission the that particular uh, rover is having also having the smas equipped with it so guys please do watch this video and please do subscribe to my channel engineers academy and guys if you want me to make another video on your suggested topic please do comment so guys without wasting any time let's begin with our today's topic of the shape memory alloys So guys, these are the shape memory alloys. These having the very unique properties. As the name itself says that shape memory alloys. It memorizes its previous shape just before the deformation. Suppose I'm having a wire and I try to bend that particular wire into different shapes. And again, after the bending, like when I, when I apply a certain temperature, when we try to increase the temperature of that particular wire, it will regain its original position. It will, it will regain its original shape before deformation. So guys, how does this wire actually remembers the shape before the deformation? Well guys, this is totally depends upon the microstructure. These particular shape memory alloys are the special purpose alloys that is made up of the different, different, different elements such as the copper, nickel. The best suited uh, shape memory alloy is the nitinol. Now this particular nitinol is having the wide variety of the applications. So how does it actually remembers the shape before bending? Okay, it does not so guys there is no such thing to remember like over here in if we look at the microstructure okay just before the bending at a certain temperature it is having a martensitic structure now this particular martensitic structure we we came to know about this martensitic structure at the first time in the iron carbide equilibrium diagram so guys if you haven't watched my that video on iron carbide equilibrium diagram which is very important in material science you can click over here on the top right corner. So at the room, like, like at a certain temperature, like before bending, it is having the martensitic structure. So martensitic is very hard and we need some more force to bend that particular wire. So when we try to bend that particular wire, internal microstructure gets collapsed. Okay. And it will get formed a twinned martensitic structure. So. So there is a deformation in the wire and the twin martensitic structure gets formed. Uh, and when we try to increase the temperature, when we try to apply external heat on that particular wire, again, 
internal microstructure that is the twin martensite gets formed into austenite well guys over here the phase change does not occur over here the phase change will occur from solid to solid so guys in our general practice like the they, they are uh, after the application of the heat like solid turns into liquid turns uh, solid turns into liquid and then it turns into gas so over here guys these are nothing but the special purpose alloys which uh, which forms the solid to solid like uh, change during the phase change these are this is nothing but the phase change so at the lower temperature the martensite gets formed and at the higher temperature the austenite gets form austenite gets form now this particular austenite is having the unique properties like this particular austenite is having the cubic structure it is having the simple cubic structure uh, and uh, this particular austenite it is the original shape before bending before deformation so this is the reason like when we try to extra uh, when we try to increase the temperature like these particular materials behaves that they regains that they memorize their original shape like in certain uh, metals in certain alloys the difference between the lower temperature and the higher temperature is just about the 10 degrees celsius so we can manipulate the behavior of that particular material such as it is used in the thermostats as well like in the thermostats like after the application when the uh, material temperature increases we can restrict and we can allow the flow at a certain desired temperature so this is how in this way we can uh, train the shape memory alloys for a certain applications also guys in your bones like suppose there are broken bones and there is a uh, like a rod which is placed between these bones so when we try to increase a certain uh, so when we try to do some work like when we try to do some work the bones the the consecutive bones will apply some force okay so that the that shape memory alloy that is the that particular rod gets uh, that will be it will face an compression and after the removal of the force when it is at the normal or when it is at a, let's say at a normal level so at that particular time just because of your body temperature it will again uh it will again turn into its original shape into its initial shapes so it is having almost variety of the applications in the biomedical engineering also in the blood clots the simple string gets inserted into your veins okay which is having the some clots okay that is in the initial that is in the deformed shape coil gets inserted in your arteries in or in your veins like just because of your body temperature it will expand and it will regain its original shape so that the blood clot gets removed over here so this is nothing but the reinforcement of the arteries and veins so it is having a variety of the application so guys there are certain metals such as the nitinol nitinol is having the wide variety of applications so guys i will also make a dedicated video on the nitinol like uh, we will understand the some sort of the graphs and uh, we will understand the graphs and the behavior of the nitinol now guys this uh, uh, shape memory alloys will be having certain properties such as it will having the super elasticity higher ductility drawn into the wires it will having high strength and low modulus of elasticity so this is the reason these are the different properties possessed by this shape memory alloys and this is the reason it is having the wide variety of applications so guys the temperature at which that particular wire regains its original or as previous shape that particular temperature is known as the memory transfer temperature at that particular temperature the metal wire will regain its original shape before deformation also guys this particular shape memory alloys uh, it we it is used in this uh, fire safety and protection systems like in the certain applications such as in the case of the pharmaceutical industries oil and gas industries chemical power plant uh, like boiler industries like there has to be some sort of the fire protection systems so guys whenever the temperature goes on increasing like the fluids the flu uh, fluids which are the hazardous fluids which is used in the piping systems 
it won't get affected just because of any increase in temperature so it will ultimately prevents the any major hazard that will not occur in this type of the industries well this type of the industries uses the fire protection system which includes the certain programmings with this shape memory alloys so whenever the temperature gets increases automatically the fire suppression systems the spy fire sprinklers will automatically turn on and it will prevent any kind of hazard also the golf clubs this particular golf clubs is like having a club face now this particular club face is having an insert so whenever you we try to hit that particular ball with the club face like the club face undergoes some sort of a deformation that is the compressive force acts on this club face it will compress and again at room temperature it will regains its previous shape so it is also used in the club face of the golf balls like it is having that kind of applications also this uh, shape memory alloys are used in the helicopter blades these particular helicopter blades will be having the smas embedded in the blades so that like whenever the operator will try uh, to lift the helicopter there has to be sufficient lift force gets generate and this uh, there has to there has to be maintain like high level of precision so this is achieved just because of this sms like whenever the blade will start rotating there will be the certain vibration gets induced and that particular vibrations can be controlled by using this sma wires sma rods which is there in the helicopter blades also is nowadays certain eyeglass frames manufacturer claims that you can bend uh, these eyeglasses in any desired shape and again it will regain its previous shape so this occurs just because of they are using the same sma material that is the shape memory alloys so guys this is all about the shape memory alloys like we have seen the working we have seen the microstructure also uh we have seen the certain applications of the shape memory alloys so guys in the next video we are going to learn about the nitinol that is nothing but the shape memory alloys that is of made up of the nickel and titanium we are going to learn about the, its chemical composition and how does it works like what are the applications of the nitinol we are going to cover in the next video so guys please stay tuned with the engineers academy and guys keep supporting me and thank you so much that we have completed 50000 subscribers so guys Thank you so much for your all your love and support guys please uh, do subscribe and please share all my videos to your friends and family thank you so much guys for watching this educational video